Hi guys, welcome back to Lennox Benny channel as we look at part two of this paper. And the first one says 1 over 5x plus 2 over 3x is equal to. Once we are given addition and fraction, it means that we must bring them to the same denominator. So let's go right ahead and do that. So it will be 1 over 5x plus 1 over 3x. And of course, we find our LCM, which is the lowest number that both 5x and 3x can go into. And of course, that would be 15x. Next, we divide 5x into 15x, which is 3 times. X would cancel the x, all right? 1 times 3, that gives us 3. 3x into that would give us 5. So 1 times, oh, this is supposed to be 2. So 2 times 5, which is 10. All we have to do now is just add. So 10 plus 3, that's 13 over 15x. And that's our answer. So our answer would be t in this time. It says 7 times the product of two numbers, A and B, may be written as. So it's 7 times the product. Product means to multiply. So of course, that would be 7AB. 23 says, what is the value of x squared plus 3x divided by xy if x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2? So all we have to do is substitute the value where we we'll see x, we put 4. So that would be 4 squared. And guys, please remember, 4 squared is not 4 times 2, but it's 4 times itself. And then we times y, which is 2. And of course, xy here means 4 times 2. Let's simplify. 4, 4, 16. 3 times 2, 6. 4 times 2, 8. So add the top first, so that's 22 over 8. How many groups of 8 you can get out of 24? That's 2 times 8 to 16 and remainder 6 over 8. When we break down that, it's 3 quarters. So that could be D. Let's look at 24. Hit the like button if you have not done so. If 5 bracket x minus 1 is equal to 35, what's the value of x? So let us expand. The bracket means to multiply 5 times 2, that's 10x. 5 times negative 1, remember, positive times are negative, that's negative. And of course, that must equal to 35. This is a regular linear equation. All we have to do is take the opposite of whatever is happening. So the opposite of minus 5 would be to plus 5. So we add 5 to both. And of course, we have 10x is equal to 35 plus 5, which is 40. So all this is saying, what number multiplied by 10 give us 40? And of course, we know that's definitely 4. But we know to show working the inverse, so x is equal to 4. Next, we have John has x marbles. So as we go along, guys, just make some little note. This mess up some students. See if he changed up on students, could not identify. So John has x marbles. Max has twice. So twice as much as John would be 2x. All right. And then them say Max gives John 5. So if John is, if Max had given 5 a few more, they're going to minus 5. And John is going to gain 5. Very simple something, guys. How many marbles does John have? So John them one, so that's an x plus 5, which is b. Let's look at 26. If a is equal to 3 and a is equal to 6, then a squared minus b squared equal. So now we have a, b equals 6. So that's a times b equals 6. But since we know the value of a is 3, no. It will be 3b equal to 6, right? So therefore, we just divide by 3 to get b. So b is equal to 6 divided by 3, that's 2. So all we have to do now is a 3 square, because that's a minus 2 square. 3, 3 is 9, minus 4, which is equal to 5. So that's c. Number 27 says, 
if a is equal to all of that, then the order of a is. So what they want is the rows to be listed first. Now rows run from left to right, just like what I'm showing here. So we have one, two, three rows, right? So row one, row two, row three. How many columns? Column run up and down. One, two, three, four. Now, how it goes is row by column. So you have to list the row first and then the column. Simple as that, guys. So that's three by four. Let's look at another one. It says the determinant of the identity matrix is. So first, let us write the identity matrix, and that's one, zero, zero, one. And if we are to find the determinant, it's going to be A times D, which is one times one, minus zero times zero. Of course, this gives you one minus zero. So our final answer is one, is A. All right. Twenty nine says if the vectors P and Q are three, two, and negative one, four, respectively, then P minus two Q is now let us put things in perspective. P is three, two minus two Q, which is negative one and four. So we just put what the tree, the P because there's nothing to do, do it, right? But for this one, it's two times negative one, which is minus two, two times four, eight. And of course, we know that the X term is the first term and the Y term is this. So all we have to do, we put X still with the X and we Y still with the Y. So that would be three minus minus two and then two minus eight. So this becomes a plus, so three plus two, that's five. Two minus eight, eight is bigger, so that's a negative, and we subtract, so that's five, six. All right, guys, let's look at number 30. Oh, it's not there. Where are you, number three? Here we go. It's an item third refer to the following diagram of the triangle OLM, in which R is the midpoint of OL and T is the midpoint of OM. Further, OR, so the direction is very important. I'm just going to color code it to make it very easy for you guys. So you go in this direction, OL, all right, and OT, so we're going in this direction. The direction is very important when we're doing vectors. And you say OR is equal to A and OT is equal to B, RM. So you want us to find from R to M. So we're going to go from here, go all the way to here. And guys, we know that we don't go directly. We, took the, we have to take the alternate route. So we're going to go starting point, which is R. So we're going to go this direction right here. So we're going to go RO plus, we're going to go from O all the way to B. So that's OM. So all we have to do now, guys, put in these. So R, we're going the opposite direction, RA, so that's the negative A. And we're going with the direction, so that would be B. But guess what, we need the distance from here to here, which is the same as this, because since this is the midpoint, it means that this is also so we add an x b. So that's minus a b plus b is a 2b. And of course, we turn it around, so it's going to be 2b minus a. For some reason, they don't leave the negative sticking out, so it's 2b minus a. So, guys, if you want to be a part of my awesome online class, take my number 876 8765492161. And I'll see you guys in another video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you follow me on TikTok as well. Then up to me tomorrow, no doubt. See you guys in another video.